okay so let's try to create a new Azure storage account so you can click on here or, or if else uh, um, you can create a new create a new resource and click on the storage account okay so you can see a wizard like this to create a new storage account let's select the subscription and you have to give a resource group with the resource group I will go with the uh, resource group we created uh, in the first video and you have to give a storage account name I will say it's email attachments and you have to give a Azure region to host that on and the performance I will uh, go with the default one standard for the account kind I will go with the storage v2 and for the replication I will go with uh, zero redundant storage because it's uh, I don't want to j distribute this into other regions and anything so I will go with the cool access tier because uh, if you if you go with the hot access tier that means uh, your data can be uh, frequently accessed but uh, I don't want to do that in this demonstration so I will go with the cool and we'll click on the review plus create and it will create the it, it will uh, show the validation is passed so we'll click on the create so it will create the uh, storage account so you can check the status from the notification panel so, so the deployment is still in the progress So we'll wait for few more seconds. Okay, the storage account is created. So let's go there and you can see uh, in the storage account you can store blobs, files and you can go for tables and queues for this demonstration what we are going to do is we are going to save the email attachment as blobs so let's click on the blobs and let's try to create a container container is like a folder that that's going to hold your email attachments so I will give a name as attachments and I want to give the access level as anonymous so I will give the anonymous read access for containers and blobs and click on OK and the attachment is already created so if we move into the attachment we can't find any blobs in there uh, and also you can download this Azure Storage Explorer into your machine so I already have that so I will open that one Uh, Azure Storage Explorer is going to load like this so from your local machine you can access to the uh, Azure resources that you have uh, hosted that you that that's available in your Azure accounts so if you if we see the uh, storage account so this email attachments is here so inside the blob containers I should see the attachments container so it's still loading yeah if we go into the attachments you, you, can't, you can't see any attachments here so you can't see any blobs available so that's all about these uh, how to create a storage account now in the next video we'll move into the logic app designer and click uh, and get the Azure blob storage account that we have created and try to save the email attachments into the blob storage.